Come on, Liam. William was diagnosed with diamond black fan anemia at 10 weeks old. They said to us um, his red cell count was so low that he could have just slipped into a coma and died at any time. His bone marrow doesn't make any red blood cells and he survives um, regular blood transfusions every three weeks. Um, without the blood transfusions he wouldn't be here. It's just an awful thing to come to terms with knowing that your child has something so rare that you would never ever expect to happen to you. Um, it's hard to get your head around and to deal with that for the rest of his life. His appetite is really bad. His behaviour, his learning, his underlying problems as well, they? regarding health, his nose, his ears, but also his medication that he has, not just for his transfusions, but his eye inhalation. That gives him upset stomachs, things like that. William is fun, he's very mischievous. He's very normal and he, he gets on with things you, you'd never think he had anything wrong with him in himself, he just he accepts it. The future, nobody really knows. <laughs> You know, he has his transfusions at the moment and then that's how he survives, but there could be a time when his body rejects those transfusions and we can't carry on going down that route. And then the next option would be a bone marrow transplant. Unless in the future other options become available. We're sort of comfortable with the way things are going with William's treatment, but that can change at any time. We don't know what is around the corner and we don't know how long William's lifespan will be. We don't really think about it that much because until you have to think about it, it's, um, it's not good to think about. So we just kind of live for the day. I think I was on a day out, got to know Mark at the electric centre. And I asked him if he would like to come to a dinner that I'm organised and would he, you know, support it. He was really keen and um, didn't know much about the electrical industry charity and then I think Tessa had got involved. And that was it really, I didn't think much of it. They offered to do the garden up for, you know, for William and for Grace and for us as a family really, to help us spend time together. They've spoke to us about William, what he needs, asked him what he would like. And he wants a football pitch. Just wants a football pitch. Stadium. <laughs> it's it's something that we probably would never get to do ourselves. So for somebody else to come in and do it for us mm. and give us an area where we can all spend time together and it would be just brilliant to have a nice space where we can watch the kids having fun and enjoying themselves and just being normal really. I think William is really, really brave and he goes through a lot of things that his friends don't and he just he copes with it really well, he manages it brilliantly. Um, and nobody would even know. Nobody would ever no. know what he goes through. He never either. complains. Never complains ever. No. It's, yeah, it's fantastic. Right,